If you've watched any of my coverage of the Pixel 6 over the past few months, you'll no doubt have seen this fairly unique home screen setup layout that I've been using. Now this design actually originated back when I was using the Xiaomi Mi 11 last year and I actually created a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to achieve that setup, which I'll link up in the cards. But see, that setup was actually created using exclusively KWGT, simply due to the limitations of MIUI and how gestures get completely disabled whenever you use a third-party launcher. But since my Pixel 6 is rooted and given that I have the Quick Switch app installed, I'm actually able to use the latest version of LaunchAir as the stock default launcher. And this means I have much more customization ability. And so I recreated that older setup, which I love using actual icons. And so I thought, why not showcase how to do this on the channel as well? And so that's exactly what this video is, a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial covering the exact process of recreating this exact setup. And it'll be pretty much the exact same process for any third-party launcher you might be using, as long as it allows for a similar level of customization. So with that said, let's dive in and get this phone set up. Now, the great thing about this setup, in my opinion at least, is that it works with a pretty wide collection of wallpapers. And so accordingly, I've been switching up my backdrops every couple of months with this same layout, and this has helped to keep things fresh without having to come up with a completely new setup altogether. If you're looking for inspiration yourself, there are three wallpapers I've particularly enjoyed using of late, and in no particular order, they are titled The Peaks Outside the Cave, Autumn Garden Steps and a Dark Blue Sky, each of which can be found for free via the Wally 4K application, which along with everything else mentioned in this video can be found linked down in the description below. But whichever way you go, set your wallpaper of choice, which for this video, I'm gonna go with the Autumn Garden Steps option. And then from there, we need to ensure our icon pack is set up correctly. See, for the longest time, I've been obsessed with this particular icon pack called the Drops Icon Pack, but it was actually abandoned over four years ago now with less than 500 app icons supported. And this means it's very likely not to support every single app installed on your phone. So a workaround for this is to use the Icon Pack Studio application to essentially fill in all of the blanks. With the app installed and open, we can tap on this button that says new and then tap on import installed icon pack. I've always found that the up-to-date Delta icon pack has quite a similar color palette and design to the drops icon pack. And so if we tap on that, we can then go into the design section, drag the size down to 44, and this will essentially create a new version of the Delta icon pack, but with small icons like the drops icon pack. And the cool thing is that even if you still have a bunch of apps not supported by the Delta Icon Pack, Icon Pack Studio will still create new icons for the unsupported apps, which will have the matching sizing parameters that we've just set up, which is how we can essentially create an entire Icon Pack with small icons for every app installed on our phone. So we'll tap on preview, then apply, and then we'll tap on okay, and then okay again. After that finishes loading, we'll tap the notification and hit install. But we're not quite done yet because you see, if we just use this exported icon pack as the default icon pack, we won't actually be able to utilize the drops icon pack icons for any apps that it does support. Now, if the launcher you're using supports individual icon customization, which a lot of launchers do have support for, then you can actually skip this next step and just customize your icons however you like. But as of the making of this video, LaunchAir 12 is yet to include this particular feature. So in order to solve this issue and use both the Drops Icon Pack and our exported icon pack, we'll open up an app called Icon Pack Mixer. As the name suggests, this app lets you mix up any icon packs installed on your phone simply by selecting them on an app by app basis. If you get the pro version, you can actually select a base icon pack to speed up this process even further, which is what I'm gonna do. But once you've gone through every single app and selected each of your icons accordingly, you can then tap on continue, then on mix icons. Here you wanna select the create icon pack app option and similar to the icon pack studio application, icon pack mixer will also now export an installable icon pack APK file, which you obviously wanna go ahead and install. All right, with that out of the way, we can now head into our launcher settings to get things set up. Firstly, we'll tap on general and here we wanna tap on the icon pack option and select that mixed icon pack that we just created. 
We'll head back and now we need to disable this themed icons toggle. Every other setting on this page can be left as is or changed according to your preference, but I'll now head back and head into the home screen menu. Okay, here we need to make sure that the add new apps to home screen toggle is disabled and then we'll select the home screen grid option and set this to seven by nine. With that done, we'll disable the at a glance widget toggle and set our icon size to 110%. We'll also need to disable the show labels toggle, but all of the other settings can be adjusted according to your preference. We'll head back again and open up the dock menu. And all we need to do here is disable the show search bar toggle. The only other thing I like doing at this point is heading into the app drawer menu and opening the hidden apps dialog and selecting any app I don't want visible in the app drawer, which for me is often quite a lot. Again, the other settings on this page can be adjusted based on your own preference. But with that out of the way, we can now head back home and start the process of placing our icons on the home screen in that five by two layout you saw at the start of the video. This will obviously change depending on your needs. But for me, I set up the Twitter app, the YouTube Studio application, Spotify, WhatsApp, the Google Play Store, Gmail, Messages, Phone, Google Maps, and finally Google Chrome. And the beauty of using a third-party launcher to set this up rather than KWGT like the previous versions of this setup is that we now get to see our notification dots and we get to access each of the app shortcuts when we long press on our app icons. Aside from that, the only thing left to do is to set up that top weather widget, which I covered how to do in detail in the MIUI home screen setup tutorial video. But as a quick overview, we'll first long press our home screen and open up the widgets menu. Then we'll search for KWGT, tap that and drag a one by one widget to our home screen just above our icon configuration. We'll long press that and adjust its size to match our icon layout. And then we can tap on it to launch into KWGT. With KWGT open, we now wanna tap on the search bar and type in three, and then we'll select the waffle KWGT widget that shows up. With that loaded in, we then wanna open up this first stack group here, then we'll select this top stack group and delete it. Then we'll open up the remaining stack group, select the top two shape layers and delete both of them. After that, it's just a matter of swiping over to the layer page and adjusting the scale so that it fills the entire space. And then the last thing I wanna do is head back twice to the root layer, and then I'll head over to the touch tab. I'll then select this option here, then the top option here, then I'll change this to launch app. Then I'll select the bottom option and then navigate to the frog weather shortcut application and select it. With that done, I can now hit save, come back home, and there is our completed home screen setup. And that's it. And let me tell you, the thing that makes a setup like this so great is that not only does it look really clean, but it's also not super lacking in regards to functionality as well. We've got 10 app icons, which is quite a lot for such a minimal layout. We've then got weather information available at a glance. And we've also got a shortcut to our weather app of choice with one tap of that top widget. And you could obviously also change this to another app if you like for even more added functionality. And I called it all the way back when I first created that MIUI home screen setup tutorial video that this was a setup I could see myself using for a long time. And I think the fact that I'm still using it to this day is definitely testament to how true that statement was. If you found this video helpful, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.